Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a vector file. I don't get too many vector files to look at. Well, normally they need help getting them to vector. But this person wants to get rid of the white. Well, if you get rid of the white, you got black. There's basically a black sailboat on top of a white sailboat. So we can't really revert the colors. So what we're going to do is control D and make a duplicate of that guy. I didn't get the whole thing. Control D, make a duplicate and move it over. And on this one, we're going to go left click, no fill, right click outline. And then you can make any color you want of that sailboat. And you can fill that in with a uh, black, 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 black. Well, we got a leak right there because it filled in the sail. And if we look up top, that looks all good. There's our leak right there. So what you can do is very easily take your shape tool and just move it to that node. And there must be another set of lines. I'm gonna get rid of the yellow box. There's another set of lines on top of here, ever so slightly. A whole nother sailboat that we do not need. Then you can fill in your other part of the sailboat. I'm gonna have to zoom in. There you have a sailboat and it's black. Now the only thing different is that this sail is a thick line, but we can very easily match this other line. Let's go right here to the parallel dimension tool to just kind of measure the thickness of the line 0.12. Remember that. Go, I'm going to move this thing off the page so I don't have to look at that page line. Let's go ahead and fill that in with black. Now we need to make this line the same thickness as that other sail. And we look at it and it's a hairline. Double click on it. Go to inches and change it to 0.12. And there you have the outside of the sail on the front, the same size as the back sail. Now, I personally don't like, if I was gonna engrave this, I wouldn't want this. Now, if I was gonna print this, I could make this blue. But this, to me, is gonna be not very attractive part of the boat. And they didn't ask for this, but I'm gonna give my opinion. You could very easily get rid of this uh, black. There's actually a, an outline there that we could probably get rid of with the shape tool if it doesn't mess up part of the other boat. And then I'm going to go right here and right click and break it apart. I'm gonna go right here and right click and break it apart. Take my virtual segment delete key and delete that, delete that line. It'd be a lot easier if I left click, right click. And there's that line that I've broken apart and it shouldn't go past the boat now. There it is. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. Might not be what you wanted, but um, and we took away some of the color of the boat. But that could be very easily fixed by taking your shape tool. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my friend the three-point curve line. This is a perfect example for it. Go right there to about right right there and then use this curved line. And there's a lot of things you could do with it. That line is, a, well, that line's not a hairline. That must be a fill. But then you could click on that line, double click on your, and with this moved out of the way, you could go Point one two, what the other things were. You could play with that quite a bit. I just don't, I don't like that. That line's too thick, but I do not like that square boat at the bottom. And there's a lot you could do with it, but that doesn't look half bad. Our lines are a little bit thick. You might be able to just grab that all and click on all the lines at one time and make them 
0.1 and then they're a little bit thinner might show up better anyway that's not what they were asking they're asking how to get rid of the white now when i did do that it took away these sails are kind of bigger now because our line thickness was off but that's very easily done let's nudge that out of the way a little bit let's and nudge that line just to leak that line well that drawing had quite a few lines in it i'm going to left click right click i'm going to make this sail a little thinner so i'm going to go to effects and contour i'm going to contour the inside let's try point one and really i i don't like that i'm going to change this back to a hairline for a second and i'm going to contour that point one I'm going to go up to object and break contour apart. I'm going to try to grab the center one and move it over and fill it with black. Now you see what I did. I made the color of the cell and that might've been too big, but you want it off this line. You either want it off this line and this is just personal preference or you want it to that line. You don't want it that close. You could very easily grab those nodes, hold down the shift key and grab that one and just move this out. See, we've got, when they did this, they didn't take away double lines. There's some double, double patches of lines. And the same thing over here. I, I'm going off. I'm going off the deep end now. I'm really going too far for them, but they didn't really ask for this. But maybe give you some ideas. Kind of run those sails into the line where they look a little bit better. In this one, you could leave or do the same thing up there. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.